Greetings and welcome, fellow sovereigns, to another episode of the semi grand campaign currently in Europa Universalis. Or. Alright, how expensive are big ships again? Expensive. They also require a lot of sailors, but we've got plenty of sailors. I don't really want to build a flagship if I don't have the regular navy to build it. Alright, let's just start with one flagship. Yay! The Dutch like us, which is good because we are Dutch-ish. Master has died. And maintenance for defense. Let's go with land maintenance. Some members of parliament are having some concerns regarding our increasingly bad reputation. They are claiming having a negative effect on our trade relations. This is a question that's been raised numerous times in the past, but not thought of it as any consequence. This time the matter is causing some really hitched debates though. Perhaps we should try and settle things before they get out of hand. Well, not with that kind of money. And right now, I don't really want to boost stability either. either. That's not great. Too many Diplo relations. Right now, money is still more important to me because I really need some regimental camps. Gotta be someone who's worth allying. They're neutral to us, Russia has too many diplomatic relations. Well, so do I. Let's see, we have a royal marriage with Great Britain. Well, if any of those change, we'll talk about that. Alright, so Russia does have stuff with that. Alright, we're almost ready to go for an alliance with you again. Somehow Lubeck has managed to eat up a lot of stuff. Alright. Now we can go with the Fort's March. Yeah, Bohemia was never going to be an ally. I really, really would have liked Russia on my side. Still no religious league. A little bit late. I mean, it could happen at any point, but... Alright, we can do another state reform. Let's see, devolution of power for next to diplomats, stability cost modifier. Uh, let's go with devotion of power, or uh, devolution of power rather. <laughs> for another diplomat, and let's put you on uh, threatening countries. Let's 
keep our allies happy. The Evangelical Union, that's the word I was looking for. Alright, so we'll side with whoever ever side France is not on. Alright, definitely this side then. How did I get in charge of this? I'll just bullshit. it. Alright, so that should give me a CB against you for C for that. Alright, let's also get some barracks going. Because we're gonna need the manpower. So the ships have arrived. That's a reason states the trade company. you please be more useful next war right, I really need to get my heavy ships up The exploration of new lands and the opening of trade with distant nations has brought all manner of curious objects to our shores. It's become fashionable to gather collections of these bizarre and often bizarre items and display them alongside more mundane treasures such as portraits and religious icons. These fantastic, fantastic collections include trophies from strange or mythical animals, artifacts from unknown cultures, rare minerals and brightly colored shells from foreign shores. These cabinet exhibits visit not only, are visited not only by curious aristocrats, but also by naturalists interested in their scientific value. Of course, it sometimes turns out that the Grand Syndic's prized unicorn horn is simply the tusk of a narwhal. Mm, yearly prestige for 10 years. Yeah. Right, we win, that's fine. That's why I have you there. And it's still going well enough. Let's see, is there anything I'm missing out on? Let's see, can't do anything with the clergy because they're pissed right now. I don't really want to piss them off because right now they're giving me a bonus. Alright, let's see if there's anyone else coming to join. I would love it if the Ottomans decided to join our side. Right, it looks like we've got a lot of people in there. Let's see, Poland, Hamburg, Montua, basically France, Lucca, Montferrat, Portugal, Spain. But they got some heavy hitters in there. Lithuania! <laughs> That's kind of surprising. Alright, let's see if the Ottomans pick a side. And uh, what else? Let's keep building up our heavy ships.
Yeah, well, it was only something else that I don't really care about. I mean, I'm kind of hoping also that Sweden brings up their fleet a bit, but most of their land is a little bit underdeveloped. I'm trying real hard not to say crap. <laughs> and failing. Alright, let's have a look. Britain's navy is... It's still stronger than me on, the, on account of the heavies, but... Yeah. Alright, let's focus on building the heavies. Because if we can't beat them in the naval game, this is all... Pointless. Alright, you like me as much as you can. Let's see. Is there enough heavy hitters in here to take down the league? I think only Spain and uh, France are really dangerous. Portugal is less dangerous but annoying. Lithuania could be a problem. How about you, Russia? Uh, they don't like that my army is not strong enough. Alright, how strong is Poland? Uh, well, weaker than Lithuania, because I'm not seeing them here. I don't, you don't have any... Oh, you have plenty of claims. So if we start this war, there is a good chance that you would probably declare on them. Let's see. You have no truces with them, that I can see. And you're guaranteeing the independence of Moldavia. Uh, you would take an alliance, but that's not going to happen right now. Because... I'm still a rival to Austria, who is refusing to become irrelevant. Significant peoples. All right, Ooh, we got some more members. I think Anspark is already here. Who else joined in? Um. Not seeing anyone new or significant. Yeah, sure. It's not currently a chance of inheriting anyone, so... There's that. Tech-wise, we're still... Not... Getting anywhere. Particularly impressive colonies are growing steadily, but not quickly. Colonial Canada is now Spanish. Well, there's nothing really up there, which is why it's called Canada. And I fully admit that my Spanish is terrible. Alright. Yeah, one force limit is not gonna break me, uh, give, give me anything particularly useful. Alright. Alright, 
please, someone strong, join our side. Because I'm not sure this will be enough. Because I'm pretty sure, yeah, only the Ottomans and Russia are above France. And unless Great Britain is able to land their armies on the coasts, that's not gonna help me against all that artillery. God damn it. I'll hire him. And what's not a loan between the friends? Uh, we've lost something. demand military support that doesn't really help me right now though uh, let's go with mercenary discipline because we might just need some mercs to finish this off Anyone else? Anyone else at all? Yeah, I'm pretty sure the Papal State probably would be on the enemy side. And this may be enough. Ooh, Lithuania is currently under attack by Russia. At least I think. No, it's not Russia. Alright, who is this then? Pomerania. It's Pomerania, Ulm, and Necronberg. For Fourth Holy Roman Intervention. Well, Pomerania is on my side, isn't he? Alright, let's just wait until that conflict finishes then. Because sure as heck, I'm not gonna get anything else done until I got at least 15 ships, perhaps. Right, finally, Clefs is building up his army. What were you waiting for? Right. Army drill is getting along nicely. Right, come on, Ottomans. I know you want to have a piece of this. It's not quite time yet. I don't really want to strengthen the government, that's not necessary. Right, let's do some more development then. Can't do it here. Alright, hopefully they're done with their troubles. At least my forts are up to the right level. Hopefully that'll be enough. But that'll have to do for this episode. Thank you all for watching. See you all next time.